playing a bit more risky. I got the bite in. Oh, get plagued. Did you see that? He actually waited until I had landed and then got me. Yeah, right. Kudos to you. Fire the hole! Now that worked great. That's one plague heart that won't give us any more trouble. Here we go, we folks. Nearby places for ourselves. Kia ora, kia ora, haramai. Greetings and welcome. I am Guru. We are back in Drucka County with the Fortress playing the No Man's Land mod. Now, in the last episode, as you would have seen, we did manage to take out the um, Plague Heart at Seconds Auto Repair, but in doing so, we neglected the home front as we had to. Uh, so first things first we have to go back here and clear up this area because uh well they were pretty much occupying all my outposts if you look here boom 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 so three of them including this one which hopefully is not the outpost glitch again but it could well be we might have to just break that one down but we will jump in the in the vehicle and get going the only thing i've done so far in this episode is pick up some fire for the job ahead because we will need it and we will make haste forth and width to our outposts and try and claim them back from the under beasties then from there we've got to really consider what we're going to do going forward because we need to keep hitting the plague hearts i think we've taken out 18 of 76 which to be honest is probably more than what i thought i would be able to do when i first started this but you know all things considered we always struggle up this hill oh that sounds all bad there's a uh, severity three infestation somewhere around here right across the road from one of our enclaves so that was going to be one of them there i think the um that house there oh dear uh in terms of the um play card to go for but our other option is considering we've woken up most of the play cards at the top end of the map near the strip mall the barricaded strip mall maybe we should just start working on those because if we actually manage to start clearing those out we might one day get into this barricaded strip mall now that would require killing seven play cards and these play cards have as you know 1800 hit points and uh defended by a ghastly uh, amount of zombies and freaks so it won't be easy but i think we're almost at the point where we need to start looking at a larger base which can give us yet more resources for the onslaught ahead wow that is a nasty place for those guys to hide right so yeah that's what i'm gonna mull over during this episode while we're playing in other words not keeping my mind on what i should be doing but let me know in the comments what you think i should do i can promise you right now they're not going to be done by the time i get there so you know we're trying to consider all this bound to get some of them right God, I'm tired. right we'll use our snacks Got a 
There we go. All right, let's take our loot. Now, okay, we've still got a food outpost, which is... Hmm. One second. That feral has an armored head. Does it? All right, so here's our drugstore. So that one's clear. Uh, no. Food outpost. Which is where? What, this one? Great food. Outpost three. Uh, okay. We've got the uh, email. Uh, email? We've got the infestation glitch. This unfortunately it happens where the infestations take over a uh, an outpost, such as Brawl's Tools, and I lose the ability to uh, to infest it. But maybe we'll get away with it. What we'll do is we'll let this horde come down the road. Maybe they want to infest somewhere. This looks like a waste of time. I can see why my random Molotov did not kill the Screamer in here. Nothing moving around here, but ah, first aid kit. We'll take that. And where are they going? Yeah, otherwise I have to break these down and put them back up again. Now they're just level one, so it's not a big deal. I think we're going to have to do that with this uh, Dewey's tools. Yeah, see? I can't access it, but at the same time, it's not infested. So, down it comes. Yeah, imagine that. Moving to a base where we've else. got actual beds. Okay, the work's done and this outpost is ready for use. If we put a little more work in, this place Lost can really platoon. pay off. Hmm. A signal's closet. Okay, that's the place next door. Right, okay, so they, they infested the place next door. So we'll just go quickly take them out. Then we'll have to do the same thing regarding the um, outposts there. Dismantling it and we might just do that. Bit noisy, but satisfying. Quite satisfying indeed. No, you don't. He was thinking about screaming. But nay. All right. I mean, some of these we might move later. Okay. There we go. Just secure and ready to go. So and after all that, it cost me about effort, 300 influence, really which is something. a, which is a bit suck. But oh well, we'll roll with the punches, folks. We'll roll with the punches. For every 300 influence we lose, there'll be a feral which uh, freezes in place and doesn't attack us or something like that. So you know. I feel like passing out. I don't actually think that's uh, necessarily an Shit. undead labs glitch. It's I think it's just because the. Uh, I think it's probably just because the mod's quite old in comparison. Yeah, like there are newer versions of the No Man's Land mod that you should definitely check out. The play cards aren't quite as tough, I don't think, but the zombies behave a bit differently. So there's a lot more going on. Um, but seeing as we started this using the uh, older version of the mod, we're just going to continue with that. And we're quite content about that. All right, so we got back to base, and it's daytime. Time to assess those point. options. I think we've got a handle on living through this. And day 46, world, folks. Day 46. That isn't crap. Whoa, so we do have five stints, which is probably almost enough to take out a play cart. 
Now, we didn't trade with our friends while we are down there, which was a bit dumb. Maybe we should. We could trade with these guys. Uh, these guys, mysterious broadcast. Uh, right, more echo stuff, which we might bad, get some more munitions. But I think we've got a siege. Oh, we've got a siege. All right, that's all fine and dandy. Look, we do not have a lot of painkillers. And we've got sieges on the way. Juggernaut. They will take care of those. Jug in the zone, though. So what we'll do is we'll just prepare by um, grabbing some nades. Excuse me. Some pipe bombs. Uh, we'll put that aside. Grab extra. Uh, grab extra snacks not much gas in this thing but it's a very fragile little car so what we're going to do is we're actually going to park it up somewhere else where hopefully it won't get as damaged the horde is here so it's time to fight all right let's see what they got so that them is it yeah that is definitely them Screamers out. Though these guys are basically screamers on their own, to be honest. We'll fight them right in front of the gate to draw the attention of our wonderful community. Because when they crank up, it's all over for the zombies. Possibly more of them. Where's this juggernaut? There he is. No, that's a loader. Fucking zombies. Off those screamers. Didn't know what hit them. Didn't know what hit them. All right, Les is getting a bit tired. Damn, that's one ugly bloater. All right, so we've still got them coming in. All right, we'll stop sprinting around because that will drain our uh, stamina even faster. Is that where it's out? Nah. We really are in terms of uh, living requirements. What's a combat resupply? Resupply out here. All right. If we're in debt, we'll deliver. See what that's about. Well, 
shit. That's a juggernaut. Alright, we're carrying far too much, to be honest. Get the glass screen up. Light him up, guys. Okay, I think that's the siege over. It is. Now we've got the newcomers asking us to take them um, resources, but they're just a bunch of jerks, really. They're not going to give us anything for it. They're just demanding, 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 demanding. So we're not going to play their little game. We're going to put that away. Give ourselves a crowbar. Give ourselves a decent gun. It's our ammo. Oh, we've got a lot of crossbow bolts, which is quite nice, actually. We'll take the AK-47 with the advanced break on it. And, uh, yeah, we'll, um, we'll switch out. So, so... You know, we've got these stragglers. We've got the mysterious broadcast. I think we might go grab the combat supply. Yeah, let's grab our supplies. Now. Whoops. And we'll call in the quick supply drop as well. Supply out here? We don't forget our friends. Okay, here we go. Um, Reese is uh, is someone that we can help um, do this job. We want to level him up. That's for sure. Actually, I'll tell you what. Lucy! I'm back on my feet and ready to get back to work. <laughs> Lucy can do the very, very simple job, which even a pathetic survivor can do. To recover our goods. So, what's she carrying? Let's give her a proper backpack for scouting, and we'll take that, and we'll take that. Some crossbow bolts. We'll take a couple of those. We'll take some snacks, crossbow bolts, and the rest should be fine. Okay, so this is this is kind of like preparation. I think we are going to try and work that top end of the map. Ooh. Don't mind him. Hello out there. My name is Ray Santos. Hey Ray. You don't know me, but I'd like you to become my neighbor. Let's just uh, make sure that Valley. everything's running We're here as it should. Willing to work hard to rebuild this land. If that sounds like you. Then I suggest you pack up your stuff and join us here. There's plenty to live for in Trumbull Valley. There is, but we're not going there. Ooh, right. Um, I'm not wowed by that. So she's got powerhouse, which is wonderful. I could use a break. You're doing fine, you're doing fine. Okay. Not amazing. But better than nothing. Alright, let's uh let's go do a quick trade. And we might take our little rapid little car and move at speed, even though it hasn't got a lot of gas. It'll be alright. Oh, sound of a jug getting hit by a 50 cal. Ooh, 
Good luck against my community there, mate. They have proven time and time again they've more than got the measure of sieges, which is good, because that wasn't the case early on. Definitely not. In fact, we had to desperately move bases from the starter uh, from the starter base. And that was largely down to the fueling the plague. Oh, we should have grabbed our anything to... Oh, well, of course, we've uh, got our outpost, haven't we? So we can see what we've got to trade. We have nothing to trade. Nothing good whatsoever. So we've got boom boxes. Nope. Don't even have those. We would have had this might take a lot effort. more than what we would have had, but uh, we had the old glitch. What's Still. going on, hun? What do See you have what to we trade? Got. Sure, sounds good. We can have that. We will take that. Hmm. We can have our snacks. Surely we can sell something better than that. I do want those toolkits. Um, let's see. Let's see. Maybe they'll give us a decent amount for some weapons. These aren't worth very much in the way of parts or influence. There might be just enough. Good to see you. Let's trade. Okay. I wow. Guess so. It's actually pretty good. I take it back. I take it back. Oh, was that three of them? Oh, well, fair enough then. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Because we are always struggling with that and we want to save our parts for fuel bombs and the like. All right, now our little car's nearly out of gas and we do have a ton of gas. So that takes us up to seven stims, which is awesome. trying to refuel that actually in mind right, we'll go check out our um, quick supply drop I think we've got better stuff from our quick supply drop than the combat supply drop but we'll we'll keep at it we'll we'll keep checking we'll keep running uh, rolling with it for a few more times and just see whether you know we get something a bit better than what we did and a tier one melee weapon some shotgun shells some th and three nades. I mean, nades are good, don't get me wrong. But they're hardly game breakers in this mod. Oh, relatively quiet. See, that's actually better, you know, arguably better than the uh, quick supply drop. But to be fair, they cost the same, so there you go. It's not like the combat supply drop is 300 influence. Alright, well, we'll drop this stuff off. Now, do we take this vehicle, or do we start hitting the road? What I mean by that is deploying ourselves in position. up here to take on these areas. I mean, we've got materials and come from those guys. Excellent. Got a nearby enclave, which is not good news for them. Um, yeah, seven play cards. It's pretty, pretty horrendous. Um, Yeah, let's 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 deploy. Because the alternative is to hit you know these these outliers, although that's pretty close to that. But like this outlier here. But it feels to me like we should be now concentrating on improving our lot. Even though this base has just been fantastic for us. Have we got gas in this? 
Let's shall fill her up before we go. Now we don't have a lot of influence though of stuff to trade. So um but we'll do the um That's fine. We'll do the broadcast mission trade. Because that could give us some good stuff. Now I'm not sure whether you know whether the uh, play cards in the no man's land are particularly vulnerable to any type of damage whether it's explosives melee bullet fire if i take out the nearest plague heart this should clear up drone strikes floater gas seem to work pretty well we should probably uh use that see that one's quite easy to get at down we can get in and talk to these guys that would be good and what is our okay we're not back we're, we're still a recruit i guess at some stage we might advance from beyond that hmm. okay we'll just check what these guys might have to have for sale these guys have lasted a long time probably because i'm hardly ever here i've got stuff you like okay uh, nope not big on anything there i don't see anything useful here all right so let's go get ourselves a supply crate we got to watch out because there were definitely some zombies hanging around the vehicle. I'm going to wake up any of the hearts around here because that will just kind of ruin things, really. All right. Give us stealth. Yes. Lucy is all about the stealth. No point turning her into a tank because she's got pathetic as a trait, which is like minus 40% standing, I think. And like vulnerable to injury and reduced health and all sorts of stuff. It's, uh, it's, it's not a particularly good trait. But I'm not judging her on that. It doesn't mean she's not deserving to live. Materials. We appreciate your results in this matter. And a hundred influence. Dangerous outlaws. Is that right? And where are they? Ah, they won't be here yet. We'll deal with them. Of course we will. All right. Maybe we'll even get to the Creepy Shack. They'll get confused. How many times have we driven past this? And Lucy is the one to loot it. Uh, I guess it's something. It is. Materials are always great. That's just to draw them off. Keep them off the vehicle. Anything else? Uh, all looted, all looted. 
Not the isolated trailer though, that's not looted. I mean, we may as well do this while we're down here and just kind of pick this place clean. As long as there's not too many hordes like that around. while we're here we'll check the old uh, situation one food but now we're making three a day um definitely do that definitely keep that rolling um let's just check our community programming plumbing pathology engineering programming pinball munitions like technology everyone's pretty close to being fully met fully leveled up here so Oh, we're not even close to where we wanted to stop. The caravans all blur into one over 46 days. It's a lot nicer around here without the play carts. Bloater, crap. Oh, okay, there's a camp up there as well. So we were struggling to find this and it was here the whole time. Alright, so I think that's the uh is that the camp could be. Definitely need painkillers, so that's all good. Drop him. Yeah, and then there's a, an abandoned campsite. So I've never been there, so I'm going to go have a look. Because you never know. Maybe we might find a rucksack. Big gun. Oh, oh, oh. That's what we're working on. Some materials would be good too, so that we can make some C4. Kind of augment our attack on play cards, so we'll see what we can find, eh? We'll see what we can find. But the more I think about it, the more I think it's time to start heading up to uh towards the strip mall. And others have suggested it Somebody's missing. quite a while we ago. Find them. All right. Let's have a look. Oh, there's things to search. Now, it hasn't come up with abandoned campsites, so I think this is additional area. Oh, check this out. Sale, sale, yeah. Three containers. Crossbow bolts, I guess. Interesting. Not really. Not that interesting. Is this the campsite? No, these are just tents under a tower. I think is off the map. That's a pack. I believe. And see my little red bar down there? That's my health. I'm 
thinking we'll just uh oh yeah that's that's where the thing is is this the campsite it is yeah right where are we going now yeah oh yeah Keep going, and keep going, and keep going, and we'll come back some other time. I hear this blood plague may hurt us worse than the Zeds. Oh yeah, totally. Now, before the pullout, the army had labs creating a cure. In their absence, Red Talon's working hard to finish the job. We won't let you down. Okay, so there's a campsite out there which one day we might visit. But apart from that, this area is pretty much done. Oh no, there's a little cop somewhere out here. Is that it there on our right? No, it's on our left. There, okay. Actually more like a little wasteland, but who's we're not gonna we're not gonna be picky. There's a random container. Eight parts. Radio back to base. Tell them the good news. So we'll drop this stuff off at our power outpost before we continue on. Just in case we find others. Bits and bobs on the way. It all helps, right? It all helps. Taking on seven play cards to free a new base is not something you rush into. This is definitely a marathon, not a sprint. I can come up with a lot of a lot of other ones too. <laughs> Sayings. Truisms. Wow, she is leveling up fast. So we look at her now. Right, so Sheriff. So she's a recruit. I guess we have to take her back before she becomes a citizen. she's doing a great job Lucy is the character we rescued because she just sounded like she needed it and whereas <laughs> you know people can sometimes be defined by their jobs Lucy makes me happy like the little sister I never had so we cannot get her killed. You hear that, Guru? Do not get her killed. If I take out the nearest plague heart, this should clear up. I think. Yeah, it's, it's weird. She's been in the apocalypse for like two years or something like that. And it's, it still sounds like she's figuring it out. Which is not unlike myself, you know. I looked at... Uh, Coming into this, I had 599 hours on my Steam account playing uh, State of Decay 2. And I'd, I'd hazard a guess I've probably got three to 400 on my, um, on my uh, Epic account. Is that, is that what it's called? No, the Microsoft one, Microsoft account. So, you know, um, Nearly a thousand hours, and I don't know where everything is, or what all the missions are, or what you should do, what you shouldn't do, all of that sort of thing. That's why I rely on my uh, on my viewers, my subs, people like Norm, people like Bob, people like Maker, Jason, Kathina. Oh, the list just goes on and on and on and on and on. And people who who know this game inside and out better than me. But, you know, the upside from that is I'm always surprised and delighted by something new that I find in the game. I thought that was a uh, non-normal zombie. Right, just want to see whether these guys have got anything. This Enclave, which has been in the game forever. What's up, kid? Hi, Andy. Let's trade. Okay. Uh, 
can I not trade? Or is it expensive because of the curveball? Good to see you're still upright. I don't care that it's expensive, it's still worth it. And that. Right, and now we're gonna go take those guys out. I don't mind them. Oh, are they gonna Right, yes, we should we should check out immediately what's going on with that. So higher influence prices for buying, less influence for selling, higher chance of failing a failed search. You kill them. We can claim excuse me, reclaim some supplies if we go after them. The undying ones. Wow, that sounds like a challenge in its in of itself, doesn't it? Where are you? Oh. There. Ha. Ha. Well, Lucy knows just the person to handle that, and it's not her. No. Resources are so tight. Yes, we're getting out to pick up a crossbow bolt. So we're going to do this before we do any more trading, that's for sure. But I just wanted to get the buy that stim just in case it disappeared for whatever reason. You know, stranger things have happened. Right. Uh, she's going to use the spec ops. Give it that, give it that. She's got a high end of charisma stick. It's nice and easy to use. Excellent. Right. Krista. Weak swing. Uh, right. Once Lucy... Once we swatch out, swap out, we might actually see what she's about. And we might take... Ryan. All right, let's see if Lucy is now a citizen. No. Yeah, I see, pathetic. Minus 45 max health, minus 50% standing reward. So I guess she has to fill that bar before she's a, uh, a citizen. Oh, well. Keep at it. Keep at it. All right, now for this mission, Crowbar is fine. But we might look to deal a bit more damage than that actually the crowbar does more damage uh, RT crusher not messing around and uh, we'll take the echo 3 we'll take some normal things And we'll take some mollies. I want to keep those for play carts. They're fuel bombs for the play carts. And we'll go with the uh, Mac 10. We'll just fix quickly. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Fire. We've got a whole lot of undead coming at us. Can anyone help? Yeah, possibly. Oh, they want to die. Excellent. If we go up there, they'll be they'll be dead. Um. From the mission when hostiles ask you to do that it, it almost in, always ends up in them being dead and that's a, an enclave i could you know live without so maybe we should uh what else are we what else can we do here zombait oof yeah why not why not maybe we'll start with that gas Yep, we're going to zombate them, folks. And hopefully not get myself killed. We don't have stealth, so we'll have to watch it. Okay. One for the tank. And one for the trunk. And then we're off, and we're going to take those guys out. With zombait, hopefully. Here we go. I haven't used Zombate in this, so 
in this playthrough or for a long time so hopefully we'll be all right yeah i know the 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 ultimate combo is scent block and zombie but in this universe there is no scent block we are going to park here where hopefully they can't get on the vehicle Uh, we don't have any cover though. We do that. Yeah. I think cover is more important. It's alright if they follow me over there. The zombies, that is. Let's get them spawned up. On the side of the building, they would want to pull up in. Now we don't want to be on this side of the uh, warehouse. We want to be down here where we can see them moving. What? Something red talon, blah blah. Fire in the hole! That was the wrong place. Did I just... What is going on? They're down on the barn. There's not just one or two of them, there's, uh, there's a good number of them. Alright, well, they should be distracted by the zombie. Okay, for the barn, we do not want to pull up right outside the entrance. That's them there. Probably want to kind of pull up over here. Although coming over to Rise is not advantageous. The around here have gone critical. It may be too late to avoid a siege. You know, they get on with that. Feral in the house. We'll just hide behind this rock. This is way cheaper. Please tell me you haven't forgotten what we talked about. Who's that? Uh, if it's them, we don't care. If it's neighborhood watch, they're giving us materials. Hang on. I'm coming to you. Yeah, we'll tell them that we're coming to them. We Get aren't, them but we'll tell them that we are. These guys look like we're talent.
course, he's shooting at me. And I guess I am more technically more dangerous. Even the AI knows that. It appears they won the day. No, two of them, three of them. back say bite him attack zombies attack they are useless What we want to uh, happen is oh, these guys. Now they're getting them. down I just dropped off a couple things I found while I was out I should reload Ow, ow, ow. Sure, I'll have the bomb. I don't think I can go much longer without a rest. That's all right. That's fine. Ow. Almost out of those. Ah, God dang. Going back to get some more painkillers. Sometimes I think it's just better to handle these kind of things by myself. I, I never seem to do as well with those um,
those uh, zombates and whatnot as I should. Probably just need more practice. That's usually what it comes down to. All right. I will swap out. Get myself checked out. Might not be a bad idea. We're in the cage. All right. Need to get back out there and uh, take him out. So we need something a little bit arranged. So we'll go with the jail. 76 custom, we'll take those, we'll take, actually we'll take those, actually we will take those, that, and we got blow to gas, no, yeah we'll pay that. We'll take blow to gas and that water dirt. Blow to gas on that perp and they should be done. Reliable. Nice. So we get them with the bullets. That's great. If not, it's time for the blow to gas. Right. And some fire. Let's go. Let's get back there. I haven't actually had this curveball before, so... 46 days in. And we're seeing it for the first time. And we have a feral behind us. Oh, I got something for you. As well as bloaters. Fire in the hole! go. Done. Ooh, that was close. Okay, and now we can search their filthy dead bodies. Didn't quite get to a... Uh, ah, oh, stims. Nice. These are all good for parts. Ev. All right. There is some good stuff here. We need to get this stuff squared away before night comes and the extras and the extra spawns appear. So we can only carry a small amount. Okay, I'm gonna fix up the truck. Find that all wrong. Stop screaming. I have to rest. Here's our man. Watch the feral. Oh no, 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 that's all bad. Did I come? Ah. Yeah, that's not gonna work. 
work. Let's go, go, go. Whoa. Wow, we. Like I said, nighttime, man. There's two stims on that corpse. Did I get the stims? I knew too much time with the damn zombies would make me sick. 42 minutes. You're safe. We did get the stims. That's the main thing. All right. And we got out of there without getting the plague. If we got plagued, that one, like, yeah, we got plagued. I don't know that we would have made it. Honestly, I don't know. That's how quickly things can turn, folks. You got to be sitting there wondering, how is this guy alive? I do wonder myself. All right. Um, do we go back there and grab the other stuff? Plus three to morale. We don't really need morale. But that we do. We'll grab Reese. Now we're not going to do anything too crazy. I don't think I'm going to get better without help. All right, so have we got stealth? We don't. We have discipline. So he's more a tank than a, than a stealth. Oh, I know who we need. How could I forget? Yeah. He'll level Fantastic. up in his own good time. Four bottle... Two whistling box mines. Excellent. Is it Chrissy? A surgeon. Not been out there in a while. I think we'll go with the Echo 10. I'm hoping things have calmed down just a little bit out there. Fuck yes, I'm in. Huh? What's going on? Gold senses. Days, zombies, and freaks. Oh boy. Yeah, when that comes live, we are definitely looking to see what we can do within that area. If that's up the top, we are dropping everything and we're going after play cards. <laughs> What's so funny? I thought that was a great idea. Um, yeah. All right, so this is body recovery. Thankfully, not any of mine. Ah, an infestation up there too. Right. So let's do this. I just want to grab that. Listen to that vehicle. That is not sounding good. I am going to repair it. No, we're going to feral territory. They'll just tear the doors off. We're good. doing that and I can't hit anything work all right where is this event it is oh, no way useful
Oh well. We've got that other mission they're going to clear off soon. So what we'll do is... Let's grab oh, the heavy. good stuff. Fine. I'll grab them. Right, how are we doing for time? Not too bad. But I think we'll draw up this stuff off. We won't worry about picking up that crossbow bolt. The OA is too hot. Now I think if I restart and come back, that mission with the uh, neighborhood watch will um, pop again. So we'll get another shot at that. But yes, I will put all this junk away. And then in the next episode, we'll see what um, we'll. Uh, complete this mission if it repops. Otherwise, we'll prepare ourselves to assault these play cards. Tell me what you think in the comments. Am I mad, or is this exactly the right thing to do? Sometimes I can't tell. Sometimes they're the same thing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. Hit that like on the way out. I really appreciate it. And wherever you are in the world, go in peace. Ka kite. Bye for now.